all things considered, this stretch of game, it's very harrowing the first time you do it because you're fighting all these new monsters, you're in these super dangerous areas, and there's no save points. You have to do all of this on one save. Is this, uh... What room is this? Oh, Metroid activity is something something. Excuse you, wave pirate. Because keep in mind, like, a, a first-time player is not going to have this many resources. They'll, they'll be missing a couple energy tanks that I have. Uh, he's not dead. They won't know how to kill these pirates really easily. They won't know, like, the way through the level. They won't know how long they have to go without a save point. Really, it's the unknown that'll... Hey. Hey, now. Jabroni number A. And, after a fashion, Jabroni letter 2. Good night. I fell. That's fine, though. No, it's not. One more Jabroni. He is the most Jabroniest. Let's open this force field. And, one more pirate data here. Talking about... Dun 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 dun! The Omega Pirate. And you can see, I do know the way to go. I do know what I'm up against, and I do know where my next save point is. I'm still kind of... Uh, taking quite a lot of hits. I'm still 300 energy down. So imagine if you had half the energy I did being 300 energy down. Is this a terrible room? No, this room's fine. I think it's a terrible room later, but for right now, I think I'm okay with it. Nothing to scan in here, right? No, just oranges. Oh, right, this friggin' guy. So, he's invisible, we can't lock onto him. But we do have the Wave Buster. Which basically kills him instantly. It's just one of those sentry drones, except he's invisible and you can't lock onto him. Always worth detouring for the Wave Buster. Otherwise, you get here, you've got like 200 energy, you haven't saved in an hour, you've been fighting all these crazy troopers, you're like, please God, just let me get there. And then that guy kills you. And that's happened to me several times. So we've got this maze happening now. Not really a maze, there's only ever one critical path to go through. But imagine how... Okay, imagine you fight through your way the first time and get killed by the sentry drone. Okay, you don't have the wave buster. Then you fight through the second time and you've managed to sneak by the sentry drone like by the skin of your teeth, you know? And you have like 50 energy left. And then you have to do this part and you roll into a wall and die. That's never happened to me, but I'm sure it's happened to someone. And that one, that guy had a bad time, let me tell you. I guess we're going in here now. I think this maze is different every time you load the game up. Like, it's not always the same route. And that, my friends, is a little something I like to call uh, the power bombs. We gotta be really, really careful about power bombs, though. We cannot waste any power bombs, or else we're gonna have to farm some up, and that takes a minute and a half. We've got three power bombs right now. We actually don't need to do anything else here. We can just bail on this place. So we need platforms. That we can destroy with power bombs, but we're not going to destroy it yet. We will be coming back through here later. I really, really, really need these power bombs to get out of here. And we really, really, really do not want to have to farm. And as an added bonus, if we chill out in this room too long... We'll get attacked by ice troopers. Actually, I don't think they will attack until we leave and come back. Nailed it! Just saying. <laughs> I was getting a little too cocky with those jumps. I was. I was getting a little too, uh, a little too confident with the jumps there. I'd be curious to know, like, what kind of, uh, like, under the hood, like, little cheats there are in this game, if any, to kind of help the player stay on platforms. You know, like, how first-person shooters that you play with a, con a controller, they'll have, like, aim assist, so you don't have to 
aim spot on like you would with a mouse. You can kind of aim like halfies and it'll still work. This guy will attack us later. What's up, buddy? I'll be seeing you on the flip side. I wonder if like any first person uh, exploration games like this have... Man, they closed the force field on me again. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Well, maybe we'll get to see his actual uh, attack this time. No, nothing. He's firing little missiles at me. Little bombs. I'll just strafe out the way. Ain't no problem. He didn't like that. There you go. Oh, he almost... There you go. Okay, now he's holding his little black hole in his hand. We can't shoot him while he's doing that. We gotta wait for him to do a shockwave. And then right in his face. The first guy though, didn't want to do the shockwave at all. He was not into it. He was just... Or not the shockwave, shock the black hole thing. He did the shockwave over and over again, which is why he died so easily. So we need to use one of our brand new power bombs in this room. Right here. Yeah. So we'll roll in. Lay one down. Power bombs have like no range in this game. They're really bad as far as range. And then we come in here. Turn on the fans. Watch this. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part right here. Boom! Get schooled, suckers! They done got fanned on. They got fanned on, and I don't feel anything. I feel nothing for them. I'm pretty sure you 100% you have to do that. Because otherwise... Trying to boost ball out of this room... Is such a pain in the tuchus. And I did get stuck here. For a considerably large amount of time. Uh, when I did my replay recently, because I forgot I had the boost ball. I'm not the smartest man in the world. Uh, what's my next move here? Give me a second. I know what my next move is. I know exactly what my next move is. You know what? Can we just ignore these wave troopers? Since we're going to the bottom of the room anyway. It's more likely than you think. Sweet. We're out. Looks like those guys aren't going to molest me at all. Let's see if we get lucky here. Let's see if we get lucky here and one of these crates has a power bomb in it. Because we do need to scan the actual power bomb pickup. We still have not done that. Nope, not lucky. Uh, we'll kill the Bombu guys in the next room though. Maybe we'll get lucky there. So maybe the level design here is kind of silly, the way that you're designed to go all the way through, then one level, then all the way back the other. Can I get a lock on, please? Maybe not. Uh, got it. Nothing, though. Okay, so we can get the other guys from the top. Actually, I don't know if they can drop power bombs. I don't know if these guys are designed to drop power bombs or not, to be honest, now that I'm thinking out loud. I would like to get this uh, scan out of the way so I don't have to worry about it later. Nope, just some energy. Okie dokie. We should have some friends appearing in a minute. Maybe not yet. Maybe not till our third visit to this room. So we have our third control thing here, but it's blocked with bendesium debris. So now we're down to one power bomb. And we'll put our yellow thing in place. You can't see where the yellow path connects to. Like, you don't see the destination, which means it must be like across from you, right? Like it must be on the other side. Let 
But we'd have to use all these machines again. Get them lined up. Like so. One more. Nobody's guarding this room. I really thought there was going to be another wave of pirates in here. I've been lulled into a false sense of security now. But nobody's shooting at me. I'm having a nice leisurely jaunt up the spider ball tower. And in this room is our grapple beam. Kind of a janky item to use in this game, because uh, the grapple beam is your same button as your lock-on button. Now that we have it, we can see grapple points everywhere, so we can scan a grapple point. Make it across the gap. I would really like to get a power bomb drop. Um, if I don't see one, I'm gonna make a note on my spreadsheet in big bright letters. Hey doofus, power ball drop. Power ball? Power bomb. I'm floating here in midair. This is my life now. Whatever that was. Make sure you bomb inside of the uh, water jets, otherwise you don't get any heights. And it really feels like there should be an item hidden in this area, but there's not. And that leads us back outside. This guy is just in my grill. And this, this buddy down there is in my business. I don't know what this guy's in. Long underwear, probably. That's that. What's this do? Oh, I can control the crane from here. Oh, I didn't realize I could control the crane from here. That's cool, I guess. Oh, I guess it's if the crane is in the wrong position, they want you to be able to move it back into this position. I thought you had to control it from... Oh, that's a power bomb drop. Right there. I, just, I see it. I see it. I see it. We're going to scan it. We got it. Yeah, I thought the crane had to be controlled from up above. Nice and user-friendly that it doesn't, I guess. Brilliant! I probably didn't want to fall down here, though, did I? Actually, it doesn't matter. I can get back up top using their little catwalk. The catwalk of doom! We didn't use it last time because we didn't come up here. We just didn't get to swing across like a champ. Although we probably wouldn't have swung across like a champ. Probably would have pratfalled like a doofus as we tried to swing across. But one of these guys shot us out of the air. Got sniped like a champ, more like. Is there one more fool down here in the driver's seat? Nope, we good. So we can... Oh wait, no, this won't move the crane yet. Because we don't have power. Ah, there it is. Up here. Now we've got power. And you saw the crane has a spider ball track on it. Which is the whole point of what we're doing here. Swing that fool around. How convenient for us that it just happens to work that way. All these space pirates had to do is not put a spider ball track on their crane. And I would have never gotten these five missiles. And these five missile guys, these are the ones... That'll get us there. Those are the ones that are really going to make the space pirates pay 
for everything they've done. I'm not totally sure that they've actually done anything. For all I know, they're just, like, we're, we're here messing with them, you know? Like, we're here... We came to their turf. We crashed their party. We didn't do their dishes. I gotta do my dishes. I don't want to do any dishes. I'm an adult. I have to. And so, once again, I leave you here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Shoutouts to Douglas Hopkins, who sponsored this video, and to everybody who makes my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.